wow! Today we are cooking up a spaghetti with your good chef Boogsy. <laughs> you take a little tomato sauce. This isn't supposed to be any accent. I don't want to offend anyone. You take a little tomato sauce and a little bit of honey. And you cook yourself a spaghetti. Mmm, I smell a tomato pasta. Bones, what are you doing? Too many coca spoiled the bro. Mmm, the finest bulgar spaghetti. <laughs> Open wide, here I come a spaghetti. Oh, oh, it was all a dream. Well, thank God that's over. I don't want to offend anybody from chef country by... Doing that horrible voice. Oh, it's the Rim Rims back again, is it? I see how this works. Sweet precious Lynx and his army. My god, what an army you have, my friend. Oh, there's more. Hello. Yesterday, Sweet Precious Lynx went to a place and got some stuff. It was very productive. More importantly, we have ourselves a ground penetrating scanner and the infinite resources that come from that. And to be fair, that was not long after we assimilated into the hive some of the Stoneborn. And now our little Stoneborn friend can dig up all the resources we need to commit horrifying atrocities. And how could I forget Bugsy? Sweet precious Bugsy got a new Xeno plant. Xeno... Xeno germ. That's it. Xeno gene? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. The new and improved cream bug 2.0 with toxic immunity, undergrounder, an insectoid voice. The downside is the UV sensitivity, which isn't a big deal. They're bugs. They live underground. Oh, and faster aging, of course, but not really a big deal because it's a base game RimWorld. The only thing we need for a, a cream bug supreme, cream bug prime, is to get the exotic organism and to get the yellow skin that we started with, the pale bug yellow skin. And then we ascend to a whole new level of cream buggery. Oh no. Oh no. No, we don't do that at all. Cream, cream bugism. Cream bugism. We got a lot of friends too, didn't we? It's all coming back to me now. We got this lovely fella. We got this lovely Pokemon fella who makes auroras appear in the sky, keeping our people happy. Got a horrifying alien egg that will spit out little larvae for us to tame and be friends with. The most important one of all is we now have an alliance with the bee people who are capable of producing even more bees. The Bumble Drone Queen has joined us. Egg progress 50%. Oh, you do. Wait, is it stuck at 50% because it needs fertilizing or will you just keep, will you just keep being around? Oh, that sounds good. Infinite bees, infinite kwama, infinite black insects, infinite resources. Now all we need is a bigger gene bank, and I think we've got everything going. Flak armor. Sure, sure. Okay, that seems good. A peony flak suit. Ooh. Now, my, for today, my plan is very simple, right? We're going to go out there and we're going to kidnap an ogre. Ogre? Wait, great ogre. Frost Jotun, Jotun, and Fire Jotun. I don't think we want to mess with that. But they do have big genes. And in the comments section yesterday, someone pointed out that insect queens generally are bigger than all the other bugs in the colony. So we're going to focus on sweet little Bugsy. We're gonna make sure she becomes the cream bee prime that she needs to be. Spectacular Bugs, yeah, it's called youtube.com slash Mr. Samuel Streamer. I don't think that works. I wouldn't try and go there. Plus, we're here, so Goodwill. Oh, Goodwill, 58 with the Empire. Pass. Hard pass, thank you. Word of Alliance for Side Trainer. Awful artistic. Hey, that's not bad. Hulk Body. Ooh, that's a nice combo. Some pretty good crafting. We'd have to fight 60 man-hunting Timberwolves. Jesus Christ. Or we go kick a... Brigand and coming with some Mantodian. I'd like to get one. People are pointing out in the comments as well that apparently we can, uh, we can just breed those by turning them into the sentient eggs that we saw before. Seems like a lot of effort, though. Um, 60 Timberwolves. Uh, oh, it's the Empire again. No, hard pass. Now, the important thing and the biggest thing we are ever going to get in this colony will be a Gene Ripper. And the biggest thing we'll ever get for a Gene Ripper is advanced fabrication. The biggest thing we'll ever get for advanced fabrication is regular fabrication. Yeah, we're, we're, a little, we're a little far away. I'm just going to put the whole squad dedicated to research. I'm going to drop the cleaning down for everybody but the shit ones. Now, at long last, put your hands together for fabrication. I would take mortars. I can't take mortars. We're in a bloody cave. I won't take mortars. What are we going to do? Rattle one off from the throne room and then cave the, cave the ceiling in. Genius. Really big brain. Whoa, whoa, whoa. On the subject of that... You haven't really thought this through, have you, genius? We've got a bug that lights up the night sky with auroras, but we're underground. We're underground, so no mood boost there, I presume. Really just two for two on that one. Here we go. Fabrication. Oh, no, but this was the other big research that I wanted. Bugsy and soon-to-be all cream bugs are immune to toxins. Not only does that mean we can pollute the planet and by extent give bonuses to all of our bug friends, it's also perfectly on brand that we'd use toxic weapons. I'm, I'm super happy with that. It's not fabrication, but it's basically the second thing I wanted. And immediately followed by the gene archive. What's a gene register? Hello. I mean, the gene archive is amazing, because that'll cut down some space trying to keep all these gene packs. Gene register? Here we are. 
Um, oh, it's a, it's a larger archive. Even smaller and more secure space. Oh, is it like a one by one thing? Oh, and look at this as well. Gene subprocessors. I presume those are the same as the gene processors. They're just smaller and maybe have more complexity per unit. Whoa. Oh, well, that's really nice seeing as um, the gene room is already full, sir. There's no more room at the inn. And now everybody has the flu. Wow, that's... Oh, it's not really everybody. It's like four of our people and then some prisoners. You'll be fine. We've got some good doctors here. Well, I didn't want to build the war vitals monitors until after we built the fabrication bench because I can't get more components in a, in a hurry. But I think we got shitloads, right? We did have shitloads before. The only problem is Bugsy is our best doctor and she is in bed waiting for her genes to regrow. Can we flip her over into a... Hang on, if I do medical and then turn it off of medical, that'll eject her, and then we'll send Buggo to go put her into the actual hospital so that she can recover from the flu. Oh, shit, I had auto-extract genes on for her. Bugsy? 14%, 14.1 immunity. Oh, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Immunity is going up uh, roughly at the same speed as the flu. It's not going to take that much longer. She'll be okay. She'll be fine. Hey, come clean this room up, for God's sake. Oh, my God. Is that the Empire? A group of Imperials from the Empire of Eternity have arrived nearby. There are 13 of them. Oh my god, and they are wearing like full-on cataphract armor, eh? That one's got mouse ears, hello. Or bear ears, I suppose. Oh, my hedges. Oh, they're hussars, look. Oh shit, super fast wound healing I'd like quite a lot. Unconstrained would be amazing for a warrior bug. Antitoxic lungs, sure. Dutiful, what does that do? They would never break down when drafted. Oh, shit. And, of course, we've got great melee that would stack with the high melee damage gene we've already got in here. This could be good. This could be a, a real gift they've bought for us here. But, of course, don't forget the Empire, the one that kidnapped Bugs in the first place. This is this is the first proper battle we've ever had with them. I guess we've finally gotten big enough to get their attention. Oh, man, those hostiles are fast, though, aren't they? Are they leading the charge while the others are hanging back? Oh, that's cool. Oh, they're, they're the ones on the vanguard. Get all the bugs. Where's Ginormous Greg? Ginormous Greg is coming down. Nia, I want you on the front lines. We're going to show those empires what we think of those hossars. Oh my god, they're here. They're already here. Wow. <laughs> my poor mountain stood no bloody chance. Let's pull back before the Kwama nest. They might decide to go hit them first. I mean, they would wipe out the Kwama. There's no... Did you see that? What the hell was that? Whoa. What have you got there? A prism lance. An intense beam of light is focused and modulated by numerous sheets of... Angled prism, honey. It looks like the Empire were trying to... Maybe that's why Bugsy was experimented on in the first place, right? Trying to unlock some... Bug secrets. You've just made an enemy for life. I mean, they'd already made an enemy for life. They've mutated Bugsy horribly. But stop talking. I don't care what you're doing. Line up. Nia, get down here. Let's put you behind the corner. Where's Greg? Greggy, I need your help. Oh my god, Greggy's not... Right, unleash the animals. Of course, Greggy's lost. It hasn't been retrained yet. Oh, go, go. Send them. Pop smoke, send him. Oh, careful, Nia. Get him. Rip him to pieces. The Empire's elite troops, let's see how they fare up against our own. Rip them apart. Oh my god, you just instantly killed one. <laughs> that was one hit. Oh. No, no, no. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Hold the line. She's absolutely annihilating them. Ripped an arm off, smashed their spine. Oh my god, I mean, I knew we were doing well, but to be fair, we've only tested against, what, like, mega spiders and then some lower tech squads just immediately going up to one of the empire's elite specifically bred troops and pulling off their limbs piece by piece oh, this is good oh this is some good shit why are you running what do you think you're gonna run to huh you're in my neighborhood now my aura self my bumble drone take no prisoners no actually take prisoners take prisoners i've got a i've got a lifetime of lifetime of pain ready for you guys rip them apart rip them apart near Pull their limbs off. Okay, I was a little bit too violent. Goddamn stupid empire. You thought you could fight us? Fleeing? Why are you fleeing? You've just decided you'd flee. I mean, the empire's fleeing. What happened? How many of the hussars survived? One, two, three, four? Okay, get them quickly. Bear in mind, our people still have the flu you need tending, actually. Let's, let's let you go deal with that. Grab. Grab. We've got a lot of people to tend. This might be one of the best moments this colony's ever going to have. This may be one of the best moments. Can I take your cataphract armor? Repaint it, give it to Nia. A trophy earned in battle. I think that's more than fair. That's mine now. Oh, you fools. Oh my god, Nia collapsed another one on the way out. Wowee. Um, don't bother self-tending. Uh, get them stripped. Get them captured. Take them home. To patch them up, patch them up. There we are. How are our own people looking with the flu? 
Slight delay there. I mean, that's to be expected when you draft up for any battle, right? We should be fine. We've got some really, really good doctors in the colony right now. Three people are ready to do some tending. Oh, God. Two hours. Six hours. I'm going to have to do a little juggling here. Bear with me. Oh, we're going to lose one. Nelamos, I'm sorry. I can't send this many people. Oh, God. They blow up when they die. That's okay. we got plenty more. we got plenty more where that came from. That's all right. And we've got their secrets now. Oh, you were a genie. Wait. Uh, uh, did one Hussar survive? Baseliner. What are you? Neanderthal. Oh my god, did not... Well, did we not get any Hussars? Wait, what? Baseliner. Baseliner. What about you? We got one. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I was a little bit worried that we didn't get any of them back in one piece. Oh, Mab's dead. Mab, what were you? You were, the, you were the Neanderthal. I'm not that upset. What could we have got from you that we don't... I mean, strong immunity would have been nice. The rest I'm not really so big on. Poor intellectual would have been just good for a generic kind of thing for everybody. Oh, that's amazing. The fact that we got one of them, though, I'm, I'm super happy about that. I'm still a little bit in awe that Nia, with just that touch of bioengineering here and there, 50% for the extra hunger rate, has more than paid for it. Just going around ripping apart hussars and shattering spines like they were nothing. Don't celebrate too hard. We did we did pay the price for it. Aurora Sylph and our very long-term ally, the Bumble Drone Hierophant, both killed, along with a couple of a couple of the Black Hive insects. But I think everyone else walked it off, right? Ginormous Terror. The Queen is fine. That's good. Ginormous Greg is okay. Karma Warriors are fine. Did also cut the power to the base. Come on, I need those Vitals Monitors, Buggo. Is that enough? There we go. Lights are back on. How are we looking? Are we, are we past the flu yet? You're fine. Bugsy. Oh, Bugsy's actually in a bad place. 34% flu spread. 32.4%. To be fair, she just spent a long, long time patching everybody else up. Yeah, it's just Bugsy we've got to keep an eye on. First priority, then little hussar. Oh, I can't take your spine because you've got a bad back, but I will take your legs if that's okay. Um, we're gonna have to install a peg leg and then pull those off again. Oh, how terrible! What awful news to hear that the Dominion of Eternity don't like us anymore. This is real fuck around and find our territory. You shouldn't have messed around. You should have sent more hussars knowing that Nia was here. Actually, perfect timing to be getting gene archives. Thank you very much. Flat screen television, really what we wanted, but eventually we can hook it up to the uh. Vampire Joy Drain System. 240 steel, six components. Ooh. Uh, but... Oh, so they are slightly bigger. They're 2x2 two two rather than 1x2. Oh, that's fine. And I presume they'll probably be able to carry... Well, you'd hope, like, more than eight. Otherwise, there's not much point, is there? Oh, well, I need is an enormous amount of genes to rip. Oh, wait. It seems like the Empire may have donated one or two. Let's get you all lined up on the auto-extract genes, then. We'll just go and throw that on every single prisoner. Any baseliners, I will stab with Bucko's Venus so that we can instead turn them into insects to try and get that bug skin. And what else was it we needed? The uh, the exotic organism, that's right. Uh, Buggo, come here. Are you baseliner? You are. Any genies I think we'll keep around. Every raid on the hive comes from a free trial of Bucko's Venus. So then we've got Constance. I think I want to rip the uh, poor plants from you. Dead calm, delicate, extra pain. I mean, to be fair, delicate might be good for just generic workers, right? That's not that bad. Good metabolic efficiency too. And then everyone else is now bug folk. Oh, except for the Hussar, of course. Unconstrained plus. We don't need the aptitudes. Obviously, we're going to need some more negatives to apply also to Nier along with everything else. We're already at 150%, so we're going to have to throw in some shit stuff here. But that's why I said, if we're turning you into just purely melee fighter, we can give you awful social, awful plants, awful animals, awful everything. And that should balance it out because you don't need to do any skilled work, really. Oh, Bugsy, stop watching television. 59% spread, 60% immunity. She's going to get herself fucking killed. Moron bug. For any of you, I'd start screaming. She is set to a work schedule, okay? She is set to top priority bed rest. She's just being an idiot. She's just being a fanny. Ooh. That's not the quest one, is it? That means it's landed locally. Oh my god. Yeah, no, very locally. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so we could potentially make Bugsy some LTX gear eventually. Presuming I can find something that I think is a suitable insect design, I'm happy to do that. And then we could summon insect queens left, right, and center. Hang on, could I have done that against the Empire? Um, we could have summoned something. Yeah, no, we could have... Uh, not that we struggled, of course. We've got Nier. I'm going to be honest, I don't think a surgical lamp will be enough to reduce our doctor's mistakes. Not when you've got Nier doing all the surgery. Bloody hell, that was fast. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. That's great. You know, not that we can build any of them because we still don't have bloody fabrication. But that's just the way it goes. Uh, what can we go for, toxic weapons, then? Again, I'm not going to queue anybody up quite yet. Uh, pump shotgun tox pack. Oh, that's pretty good. Toxic bomb launcher would be nice. Tox bolt action rifle. And we specifically need waste packs to craft that. Um, okay, so can we build the pollution reducers? Uh, what are they called? We've got tox poppers. That's pretty great. 
I guess we'll have to research that. We'll have to pump up a little bit of the toxic area here, even though we want them out to be polluted so that our insects are stronger. If it's just kind of generic all insects, does it work on... I, I know it works on the, the Hierophant. Let's check it on the Bee Queen and the Kwama. They might not be affected by it. Oh, the Bee Queen is for sure. Look at that. Pollution Stimulus Maximum. 20% faster move speed, 5% consciousness, and the... It does work for the Kwama. Wow, I'm really surprised by that. I guess just any insect tagged with... Or, or any animal tagged with insect is, is enough to get that pollution stimulus. Whoa. Oh, hello. Another bug for my hive. Another giant egg-laying horrifying insect. A lynx, get out here. Come tame another insect for me. I don't know if this one will work. Oh my god, the animals have got flu as well. Who? Not ginormous, Greg. Have mercy. Come on. Join us. Amazing. Wow. Are you, and you're just going to constantly... Ah, gamer weapons. There we go. And you're just going to, what, constantly lay eggs for us now? Will those be tamed? Oh, this is nuts. We, we've got we've got the Bomber Drone Queen laying eggs, the Hive laying eggs, the Kwama laying eggs, a Spider laying eggs. We can advance. Oh, man, they've got some really cool art for them, too. Look at that. Tox Bolt Action Rifle. Again, we can't build any of them until we get the pollution pumps. Tox Pump Shotgun. Tox Revolver. Holy crap. Okay. Well, you know what I'd like to see, though? We've had enough of this nonsense. Let's have fabrication. A little fabrication. <gasps> Best day of my life. This is the easiest game anyone has ever made. Uh, Bugsy's about to die, though. How are you doing? Ooh, 3%. 3.5% up. You'll be fine. Just walk it off. I love lamp. The surgical lamps do give, like, 1%, if I remember correctly. Like, 1% infection speed or something like that. Not infection speed. That would be very, that'd be very useless. Immunity gain speed. That's right. I wouldn't build a lamp that makes them sick faster. Well, it was a little bit dangerous, but she is gonna survive. We definitely need to do something a little bit better for next time. Maybe some actual proper medicine. That'd be nice. I presume Batista's okay as well. Uh, yeah, you're good. There you go. Both got immunity at the same time. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think, if I'm not mistaken, there is a style for, uh, how do I change style again? You? Okay, there we go. All right, you know what? I can, I can fuck with that. It looks pretty nice from the side, eh? Look at that. Big old Mega Scarab Cataphract helmet. And that's gonna make you hit, or, or take a lot more hits. Bugsy has cut her hair. You know what? That's not a bad look. Yeah, okay. It's better than the usual things they do with the styling station. I said it before, but they do have an uncanny ability to pick the worst possible haircut. Why can't we clean any rooms anymore? Am I going nuts? Because I made it so that only one person could clean. Ah, oh, that's so massive brain. <laughs> there it is at long last. I only had to ask politely a dozen times. You now have the technology to build a fabrication bench. Don't worry, I've been planning this for a while. I cleared some room in the uh, in the battery room last episode so that we can not rotate the workbench. Hello? Oh, there we go. Just had to, just had to wake it up. Just having a moment. We're missing 160 steel, Batista. Oh. You beat me to it. Gene extraction complete. Aptitude for charge lance. Oh, that might be the most useless gene we could have got from our our new guest. Here, Bones, let's get you stripped. Because I'm not really a big fan of having you walking around in marine armor. Oh my god, we're finally free. No more having to worry about component management. Obviously, we still need advanced components too. But this will do fine. Thank you. Now we can build some actual real guns. I love the honey sides, I do. But they're just not going to last us in the long term when, we, when we're up against... Massive groups of insects. We can't be fighting them one-on-one. -on -one. Mainly because if they're giant groups of insects, it's most likely going to be five-on-one. And as good as Nier is, I don't think they're that good. My little mining bug, Batista, is probably going to be one of the most important colonists very quickly. He's the only way we can pretty much get reusable resources, right? So I'm going to throw this guy whatever the hell I've got lying around. Like the green limbs, preferably, for... Uh, what are they called? Are they not green limbs? Some sort of mutagen. Uh, great. Okay, the only one I want we don't have. Brilliant. Uh, amazing planning, really. Oh, we haven't got any meat? We've had nothing but maggoty bread for three stinking days. All right, let's go. Let's go shoot something. What's out there for us to shoot? Apparently, these donkeys have somehow dodged it for about a month now. <gasps> right lower shoulder. Oh, my God. We can go full bug mode with it now. Look. Ah, uh, yes. I was going to give... Because we got four of them queued up, right? I was going to give him two in the leg, two in the arms. But instead... I didn't have to close those off. We're going to go uh, just four in the arms across the board. The Mining Lord. It seems uh, uh, so appropriate for a stoneborn turned insect friend. So many genes that are off the bloody screen. It's the best part about being bugs, right? Twice the arms, twice the work speed. Is it working? My god, I think it actually is working. I was kind of skeptical about whether or not they'd even fit. Oh, this is good. Hold on. Could I give Nier, like, two more... 
of the uh, of the slicey arms. We in fact have two slicey arms around that I was gonna give to. If you remember, I was gonna give that to uh, Ginormous Greg. I'll be honest. I, I think I'm just gonna queue up two more of the blunt arms. I like Nia going around punching off people's limbs entirely. It's so good, and it's a little easier to tend as well when you, you know just you break the spine rather than cut the head off. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna throw in some purple mutagens then instead, seeing as we've got them, that'll help speed them up. And then the black mutagen probably couldn't hurt either. Batista, you are going to be a mining bug supreme, our little colony woodlouse. I love how casually Bugsy just comes and mutates her, her little hive mind pawns. I mean, for Batista, this is one of the most important days of his life, but for Bugsy, it's just a, it's just a Tuesday, isn't it? I'm gonna give everybody, I'm gonna give everybody four arms. I have to. We, oh, but there's no reason not to. Bugsy, uh, Bugsy, of course, needs it more than anybody else. We just need loads and loads of meat to make it happen. Uh, what do you think? Should we hunt a whim? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, how much meat you got there, fella? 349. I mean, that's two and a bit body parts. Send Nier in. Nier will probably body slam them. Oh, you're in a lot of trouble, my friend. Get stunned. Get him, Nier. Yes! Kill him. Kill him dead. I don't know how strong these are. I don't think I've ever been on the receiving end of a win before. Wow, three hits. That's how strong they are. Three whole hits. Grizzly Bear, no problem at all. Probably three hits again. That's two hits, come on. Three hits again. A three hit near. Doesn't matter how big, doesn't matter how small. I love that Wild Goose have an 80% chance to attack on a failed tame chance. That's enormous. I think that was more than the bear. Oh my god. Batista. 134% still under the effects of anesthetic. Wow, that's 10% reduced consciousness and then another 10% reduced manipulation on top of that. You're going to be unstoppable. What we do have to build so that I can turn the bench back on are some more Toxifier generators, but how does that work with plants? Can we grow mushrooms in toxins? Probably not, right? I want to be able to empower the bugs, but I also don't want to destroy all of our food. So if I throw it just like, like this there. Actually, let's make sure we got the whole map covered. Why the hell not? So we can throw it there, or maybe off center slightly. I oh, will pop it there. But like, right, right there. Make sure every last block gets polluted. Hey, sorry, I don't mean to tell you all your business, but uh, what are we putting badges on the shelf for? What's going on there, eh? I just don't go on the shelf. They go in the freezer to get turned into extra arms for our people. You know that. Uh, you know what I love? I really like advanced components. Or oh, chefs too. Oh, no. Not again. There it is, the second Toxifier generator. That way, if we... Uh, you know what makes sense? If we if we dig another cave through here, we could block this off and force every raid to go through the Kwama. I would never use the Kwama like that. I love the Kwama. I would die for the Kwama. But it would be good to get them into an area where we could where we could kind of fight them on our territory. Maybe we dig through the barn. Because all this area is going to be so heavily polluted, all of our bugs would be so much more powerful. And then we could block all this off. He Does that make sense? You know, I think it kind of does. I think I might block this off then. Hello. The Cancrecam Nation. Twelve of them in two groups. Oh, it's just tribes people. Um. <gasps> Wait. It's the ogres. That's not tribes people at all. They're big naked ogres. What the hell's going on with that, eh? Oh. Holy shit. Ogre frame. What have you got for me? Carries of this gene grow to large lumbering size. Yes. 20% damage reduction. Oh, shit. 20% lower lifespan. Double the size of a regular character. They're slower. They do a lot more mining and construction. That makes a lot of sense. And when they're clothed, they move even slower still. Oh, shit. Um, maybe this isn't as useful as I thought. What have we got over here? What? Toxos, you are enormous. What the hell are you? A fire Jotun. What the hell is a fire Jotun? Double, double mining speed. Whoa. 1.5 times deep drilling, 1.3 times construction speed, and then 250% the size of a regular person. Oh, shit. Toxos Badger? I think we're about to be best friends. Although, they do have a massive damage reduction, so I feel like we're probably about to get bodied here. What are they doing? I thought they'd be breaking through the door, but they're not interested. What are you doing? They're going to go attack solar generator. Okay, who's the person we're after again? It was Toxos. Attacking, uh, let's see if Nia can still contend with them. I'd be very interested to see what kind of fight we're looking at here between, say, oh, no, 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 open the doors, you fool. One ogre versus one Nia. They're coming through. Come on. That's it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Let's just, just at least get them back a little bit. I don't want to fight them that directly. Perfect. Okay, fight Malork. Shit, I'm worried about that incoming damage multiplier. Oh, my God. 
Holy shit. Uh, yeah, no, they're a bit tanky. They're a bit tanky. I'm a little bit concerned about this. <laughs> it's quite literally just called Rotund. Amazing. I think Nier's taking most bloody damage from Friendly Fire here. Hop out the way. Okay, there we are. I think we'll keep Nier on the front line ready to go and club that giant. Oh, they're hunting down the insects that are outside. I see. Uh, Toxos, here you go, here you go, here you go. Let's move you up. Let's go, Rotund. Oh my god, their, their damage soak is actually nuts. Okay, kill Toxos. No, 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 punch Toxos down. <gasps> Careful. Don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. Oh, Boggo, can we get you down here to come capture Toxos? That would be amazing. You know what? It's not bad. Wow, I say it's not bad. Look at how many hits they can take. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 hits. Bear in mind, it took three hits to take out a grizzly bear and three hits to take out a mega sloth. This is, this is insane. Buggo's got, uh, got the giant. Are they, were they bleeding out at all? Hang on. No. Oh my God. This is amazing. Get them. Get them out of here. Nia, pull back slightly. I think we're going to need a lot of backup with this one. I'm not taking any bloody risks. Tries people are fleeing. Okay, that's one group down. Don't smash my toxic generators, you little penises. Hey, are they going to come in? Come on. Come fight us. Whenever, you, whenever you're ready. Well, I guess I'll send uh, I guess I'll send Nia to go and see if we can bait out a couple. Should we just capture some others? Like Gwar Wackgoin. <laughs> Fucking love these big names. Gorg Glee Squagog. Yeah, you're coming with me. Actually, do I need, need tending? Uh, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Let's capture you then. Fuck, I got a job for you. How are you looking? Moyork Poen, I'm sorry, is probably done for. 78 degrees C. Nah, we're good. 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 What the hell do we do? Hang on. 78 degrees C. Um, if we don't open this up so it counts as outside, is it just gonna get hotter and hotter until the whole hive melts? Shit, it actually is. Um, Bugsy, 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 fast. We need to take these doors out. Bring near down and bring my guy Greg. Ginormous Greg, I need I need a hand here. Shit, it's gonna it's gonna be a one on one. We need to get Bugsy through to be able to take those doors out. Go, Greg. Go near. Nice. Okay, take that out. Bugsy, take the damn doors off. Shit. 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 You have to take the doors off. No, 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 no. You don't understand. We have to take the doors off. It's 135 seat. We have to take the bloody doors off. Um. Uh, jump. Jump. Leap. Leap. Fly. Fly. There you go. How are we doing, squad? Nice. Okay, come down here. Kill you. Let Bugsy scoot past and take the doors out. Okay, go. Just give him a wide berth. Give him a wide berth. There you go. There you go. There you go. Bugsy, don't get involved. Bugsy, 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 Bugsy. Fuck's sake. Okay, you know what? Fine, 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 fine. Take the doors off. Shit. 160, 170 degrees C. Ah, uh, it's getting a little warm. It's getting a little warm. Uh, maybe don't try and fight the fire. I appreciate the effort. Uh, how are you doing? Yeah, get captured. No, no prisoner beds. Oh shit. Uh, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Oh my god, they are enormous. <laughs> I think that gives a better sense of scale, right? We're going to have to get all the bugs inside the hive. Uh, otherwise, this shit could light up in no time. There. Greg, piss off. Shit, yeah, okay, here we go. We've been, we've been by my super pizza there. Bugsy, come stand outside. Shit, shit. Shit. Piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off. Should count as outdoors. There you go. Temperature's immediately equalized. Run. Okay, uh, Greg, 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 Greg. Where did Greg go? Greg, how did you cover so much ground so bloody fast? Come back and help Bugsy. Oh, uh, summon something. So, yeah, summon something. Summon something. Too slow, too slow, too slow. This is horrible. Uh, this is horrible. This is fucking horrible. Come back, come back, come back. Worst day of my life, please. If you kill Bugsy, I swear to God. This is horrible. No! Please. Greg. I fucking hate ogres. <laughs> I hate ogres. Oh my god, thank god she has that ventricular sleeve. Otherwise, that could have been a very different outcome, huh? Okay, you're bleeding out. You're bleeding out. You're already dead. And we might not lose too much of the crop either. Okay, we have a slight problem uh, with the design of the base. What we've done is we've effectively built a gigantic fireball outside the front door. Uh, no, we're not going to get stumpy. All right, forget about it. Wow. That could have ended disastrously. That could have been really, really awful. There we go. Actually, we, we might... Oh, we can patch you up. There's another one. Oh, we need... Yeah, okay, fair enough. We do need one more bed. Wow. That is a lot of new people. 
Holy crap. Not so sure about these giant jeans. Did it not also say that the faction had, um... Great Ogre, 5%. And then Fire Yoten are the rarest at 0.5. What the hell is a Great Ogre? And the question is, are they bigger than the Giants? Whoa. Fire Yoten... It makes them huge, but we don't get any combat benefit from that. Whereas, uh, you lot, are you a better thing to turn Nier into? You do take a 20% extra damage reduction on top of what Nier's already got. You're bigger, but you're also slower. But if I'm not mistaken, what if we combine that with the gene? This is where it starts getting a little mad science. What if we use that with the gene of unconstrained? They do not suffer movement penalties caused by clothing that would normally slow them down. So if they're clothed, that just makes it so that if they're clothed, they get a move speed negative. But that would cancel out the, the move speed negative from the clothing inherently. I think that's how that works. I presume that's how that works. Horrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. Thank you. This is good, though. This is, I mean, look, even if we don't get any any sort of massive combat bonus for Nier. I, I mean, to be fair, Nier did also wipe the damn floor with those ogres anyway. Well, I wouldn't say wipe the floor, but it was it was definitely a, a more interesting fight than no, Nier normally gets. Even if we get nothing else from it, we've at least got this massive Jotun upgrade for Batista. Going from Stoneborn Dwarf to full-on fire giant industrial miner. That's kind of a cool transformation. Get them all ripped then. Sod it. I'm going to go through every single prisoner and make sure we're ripping pretty fast. We could build... Oh, obviously not ripping quite yet. We could build just more regular gene extractors because honestly, I think at this point, given the amount of prisoners we've got, we're going to need it. And we can make components. And we've got a nice influx of steel now, thanks to Batista. And his, and his four arms. Just a little bit of bug industrialism. I'm only going to throw down two of those, and then we can throw down another ripper on the on the other side. There we are. Oh, man, this has been so good for the colony today. Actually nuts. I'm so happy. To be honest with you, after editing, I'm not entirely sure how long any of this is going to be. So I apologize for not ending today on some big explosive moment. Some great final culmination of everything we've done. But instead, we're starting at the beginning of something massive instead. Very literally massive. By capturing our shitload of ogres and giants. Then, of course, don't forget we've got the Hussar. We finally fought the Empire at long last. And we got the Cataphract armor. And fabrication. I'd say this has been a pretty massive day, regardless of whether or not we got we got any sort of major milestone. I mean, how could I forget Six Arm Batista as well? Thank you for joining me. Wow. And I'm glad we got those gene archives too. There, there's so much we've put in place today. Tomorrow is, is going to be a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun redesigning some aspects of the colony, I think. Getting some new xenotypes going there. Thank you, as always, to the patrons for allowing the series to exist in the first place. For giving me the time, regardless of all the shit I'm having to juggle in real life right now, to keep churning out some episodes here. Thank you to Terramites the Terrible, GamerMan7799, Thaddeus, WK, Rave Pirate, Wolfie, Saltalor, Luke the Nuke, Doc Sergeant, Technoman08, Nightwitch, Bill Nye, the Cream Pie Guy, Viking Boy, Benny Goodman, Robber Robbie, Alex Schultz, Edgewin, The Apocalypse Shovel, Heck, Xenos the Painter, Pixelane, Ben Kaur, Mike Omeg, MW, Vladislav Shatulski, Remade, Owoni Chan, how dare you, Lively Life N, Twinkle Rock, and Kyle. For their support over at Patreon, then it's the end, finally, of the November Patreon list. Apologies about the delay there. Um, takes a couple of days with Patreon anyway, so I'm a couple of days behind uh, where I'd normally be. I am going to make some changes for the new year going forward, but I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to put anything in stone yet. Um, but moving forward into 2023, I'm going to make some alterations just to maybe not make it so many names. We'll see what we can do. Anyway, stay tuned. I'll put a post up when I figure something out, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Let's breed some giants.